What if I told you the world is home to creatures that defy gravity? Not with feathers, but with ingenuity. Imagine a lizard that glides like a dragon, a squid that rockets through the air, and an army of spiders that can drift for miles on silk parachutes. From the darkest jungles to the open ocean, these unexpected flyers have rewritten the rules of survival. But one of them, one of them is an acrobat so elusive, you've likely never even heard its name. Stay with me, because what you're about to discover will change the way you see flight forever. Meet the flying foxes, the giants of the bat world. With wingspans reaching five feet, they're not predators, but peaceful pollinators. Feeding on fruit and nectar, flying foxes travel miles each night, carrying seeds and pollen across forests. Without them, many plants, like mangoes and bananas, would struggle to thrive. They are silent gardeners of the night, their wings reshaping forests while we sleep. High in the trees, another glider silently plots its next move. Flying squirrels don't fly, they glide. Using a skin membrane called the patagium, they soar over 150 feet, steering mid-air with their tail. For the flying squirrel, this acrobatic escape is a lifesaver. Predators on the forest floor, foxes, snakes, owls, can only watch as this stealthy ninja disappears into the treetops. Meet the Colugo, often mistaken for a lemur, but make no mistake, this is no primate. Nicknamed the Flying Lemur, even though it isn't a lemur at all, the Colugo is the undisputed champion of mammalian gliders. With a membrane that stretches from neck to tail, it covers distances of up to 200 feet in a single bound, making it one of the most skilled aerial navigators among tree dwellers. Like kangaroos and sugar gliders, Colugos are marsupial-like cradling their young in their fur-lined gliding membrane. But their flight isn't just about getting from tree to tree, it's about survival. In the dense forests of Southeast Asia, where predators lurk at every level, staying airborne is often the only way to stay alive. Imagine a flying squirrel shrunk to palm size and you get the sugar glider. Found in Australia, these marsupials leap gracefully through eucalyptus forests in search of nectar, sap and insects. But their gliding isn't just for fun. It saves precious energy while foraging and keeps them safe from ground-dwelling predators. As relatives of kangaroos, sugar gliders carry their young in a pouch, yet another marvel of their evolutionary toolkit. In the jungles of Southeast Asia, Wallace's flying frog defies gravity. Its webbed toes stretch wide, creating parachutes that allow it to glide up to 50 feet between trees. This isn't just about getting around, it's a life-saving maneuver to evade snakes and lizards lurking below. Its bright green body isn't just camouflage, it's a signal to predators that says, I'm not an easy meal. Dragons may be mythical, but the Draco lizard is real. With elongated ribs that unfurl into wings, these tiny reptiles glide effortlessly between trees. But their bright colours aren't just for show. They warn predators that this little dragon might not be worth the trouble. While not venomous, Draco lizards rely on speed, agility and sheer audacity to stay alive. It has no wings, no legs, no external gliding structures, and yet it flies. Meet the flying tree snake, one of the most unexpected aerial specialists in the animal kingdom. Unlike the Draco lizard, which relies on rib-supported wings, this serpent turns its entire body into a parachute. By flattening its ribs and undulating in midair, it creates its own aerodynamic lift slithering through the sky in a mesmerizing display of controlled descent. These airborne hunters aren't just escaping danger, they're hunting. With glides reaching over 300 feet, they can ambush prey, travel between trees, and avoid the dangers of the jungle floor without ever touching the ground. 
In a world where predators roam every level of the rainforest, sometimes the safest place is the air itself. The flying gecko is nature's stealth fighter. With flaps of skin along its body, it glides silently between trees, landing with pinpoint accuracy. But it's not just their flight that's impressive, it's their disguise. With skin that mimics bark and leaves, flying geckos become invisible to predators and prey alike. It's no wonder they're called the assassins of the forest. When danger strikes beneath the waves, flying fish escape by taking to the skies. With powerful tails, they launch themselves out of the water and spread their wing-like fins, gliding over 600 feet to evade predators like marlins and tuna. Their flights may be short-lived, but for these oceanic acrobats, every leap is a matter of life and death. If you fear spiders, you might want to turn back now. Because what you're about to learn will stay with you every time you look at the sky. You may think spiders belong in webs or scurrying along the ground. But these creatures, they take to the skies. Ballooning spiders launch themselves into the air using silk threads, catching the wind like parachutes. They don't just jump, they travel. Miles. Sometimes hundreds of miles. After heavy rains, an eerie phenomenon unfolds. Millions of spiders take flight all at once, covering entire landscapes in silk. Locals in certain regions call it spider rain, a haunting sight where the ground, trees, even rooftops shimmer with drifting webs. In 2015, an Australian town woke up to find the land completely covered in spiders. If you think this is rare, think again. Because in Australia, where even the spiders are out to get you, this airborne invasion is a regular event. In 2015, the town of Goulburn awoke to an absolute horror. Millions, perhaps billions of spiders had rained down from the sky, covering roads, homes and fields in miles of silk. Some residents reported spiders crawling from their ceilings. Others walked outside and found the world transformed into a haunted silk-covered wasteland. Locals called it angel hair, but make no mistake, this wasn't divine. It was a full-scale arachnid takeover. Scientists say spiders do this when their burrows flood, instinctively launching into the sky to escape. But for the people of Goulburn, there was no escaping them. For weeks, silk rained down from the sky. Some residents said the air was alive with spiders, tiny legs drifting past their faces as they tried to go about their day. And yet, this wasn't even the first time it happened. And if you think this was a once-in-a-lifetime nightmare, locals will tell you otherwise, because in Australia, this has happened before, and it will happen again. Because in Australia, this is just nature. Their flights are an act of survival dispersing them across the world and even into the Arctic tundra. And the scariest part? Scientists say ballooning spiders aren't just limited to Australia, they could be floating anywhere, even right above you. Not all creatures take to the air to escape danger. Some own the skies, commanding them with purpose. Bees, butterflies and beetles, masters of pollination, carry the fate of entire ecosystems on their wings. Fireflies turn flight into an art, illuminating the night with signals of attraction. Dragonflies, with their four independently moving wings, are aerial acrobats, unmatched in speed and precision. Even ants and termites take to the air, their fleeting flights marking the beginning of a new colony's rise. Each of these winged wonders plays a crucial role proving that in nature, flight is more than just movement. It's survival, it's legacy, and sometimes it's magic. From the smallest insects to the mightiest rays, the skies belong to more than just birds. These creatures remind us that flight is as diverse as life itself, a testament to nature's boundless creativity.